What's going on guys? Vic VB back with another Game Case Arcades videos. We're working on the game case today. And I'm gonna show you guys real quick in this video. We're talking LED buttons and how are we gonna power these LED buttons? So I just got a message on YouTube. Somebody asking me, hey Vic, I just got a Pandora's box and I got the LED buttons, but I don't know how to power the LED buttons because there's no port. Um, I'm gonna real quick just show you how I normally power my LED buttons. It's pretty simple. Again, we do get everything from Game Room Solutions. My little hack to this one is that you could use, and this is what's cool about the game case, the portable arcade, because it's a laptop, but you could actually use the USB port on your laptop or any computer to power these LEDs. So real quick, what we're doing right now is that we are gonna take an old jank USB, anything that's a USB, any wire. I literally cut this, this used to be like a charger for a Samsung, cut the tip of it, and we are basically going to power these LEDs with a simple USB. So basically it's pretty simple. Uh, again, Game Room Solutions, we got, I hope I'm in the frame. So basically again, we get our stuff from Game Room Solutions. Game Room Solutions does give you this bla uh, black and yellow LED daisy chain for the LEDs. The clips on this are bigger than your normal arcade micro switch clip. Uh, so again, basically we cut the USB, I cut the wire, and all we really need is four wires inside a the USB. There's black, red, white, and green. All you really need is your red and your black. Black negative, red positive. Again, Game Room Solutions, our yellow, and our black. Uh, when you do get the wire from Game Room Solutions, it does come with a clip for like a PC. I threw it out. You could actually just cut that off, splice off your wires, and here we go. This is all you gotta do, black to black, yellow to red. Really, you could wire clip, uh, you should wire nut these, I'm not. Basically now I'm gonna take a regular plug, my USB, I should say, I'm gonna take my USB, I'm gonna grab a regular USB adapter, and all we gotta do is plug it in. This is all you really need, guys. Literally for LED buttons, you just need a USB power cord and a USB brick. We're gonna plug this in, making sure our wires don't touch. Again, you should have your wire caps unplugged in. And basically what I'm gonna show you right now, I'm gonna take, I don't wanna take one of these out actually because we are working on the game case. But on the clip that Game Room Solution gives you, you're gonna have, I'll make one real quick. You have to make a uh, micro switch. So you make your micro switch and there's your micro switch with your LED. Let's put a blue one in for this one. So basically what it is is that you put your LED in and then right here, these two prongs here are going to your LEDs. These are to your micro switches, LEDs, micro switches. What I basically do is that I have live power. I do have power live to this wire. This isn't enough wire to explode your house or electrocute you. I'm literally touching live wire. Nothing's happening to me. It's five volts, so it's not really gonna do that much damage, but be careful. Basically with the wire live now, I take my white, I take a yellow. I'm gonna take one yellow wire on the start of the daisy chain. I'm gonna take the first black wire on the start of the daisy chain. And basically what I do is that while it's in there, I'm gonna take a close up, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing, is basically I'm gonna be tapping one end, I'm gonna hold the black on this, and I'm gonna hit the yellow. And as you can see right now, let's see, I have no power going to this because the LED is flipped. So instead of actually physically flipping the LED, all I'm actually gonna do is flip the wire. And there you have it. That's it, that is how you test, that's the easiest and quickest way for you to test your LEDs. Again, it's all USB powered. I'm gonna take you closer as I do one of these on the Game Case Arcade. Basically again, you'll be able to see like the little bit here. I'm gonna basically just, it's a random guess, it's a 50-50 shot. Did I do it? Nope. So now I have to basically flip my wires and we have power, see that? Again, I can see it in the lens. I have power there. So again, I'm gonna take you closer on my end. We're gonna do just again, it's a 50-50 guess. That's another thing to keep in mind. The LEDs aren't marked. You can't really see what side goes to what. But the biggest thing is to make sure you do have your plastic covering everything so no wires jumped. Again, my next one on the daisy chain, this is my next series. Again, I'm gonna just tap it. Did I get it? I did get it, see that? That's all it is, it's trial and error. That's why usually I like to keep my actual power wire live while I do this. Again, it's USB, you could literally connect this to your computer and do this if you don't have a power brick. So the only thing I do know for a fact is your Raspberry Pi cannot power this. 
if you have the USB port on the Raspberry Pi, I don't believe it could power it. There is a pinout that you could use. I don't know what the pinout is. I'm not gonna tell you that because I don't wanna be responsible for your pies. But the best thing is to just grab a regular old USB wire that you're not using and just plug it in like that. I get power on that? Yes, I did. I'm gonna take it on my end. I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. Again, no, no cuts on this. You're gonna see exactly everything. But I'm gonna bring you now on my end to see exactly what I'm talking about. So now real quick, we're going to on my end. Again, here is my USB wire, random USB brick. This is my jank, negative and positive. The white and the green aren't used. And again, basically, if you could see this real quick, take a look at this first micro switch. This is black on the left, yellow on the right, right? But now my next one is yellow on the left, black on the right. That's what I mean by we're, taste we're testing it, basically. Uh, I'm going to basically show you what I mean. So again, I have my next daisy chain in the series. And basically, I'm going to just tap this. Again, these two right here. We're going to tap it. And I didn't get anything on that. I don't think you could see through it, but it's not there. I'm going to now basically swap these. And yes, can you see that? Like again, we're going to be putting power to this end here. Again, you could daisy chain these all the right way. But when you put power to it, you might be like, whoa, what happened? So basically, if I tap this, there you go. You see that green? Now I know it's live and we're set and ready to go. I'll do one more just to show you guys. We'll do this one down here. Next one in the series. Let's see. See, I'm hitting black left, yellow right. I'm getting nothing here if I swap them. There is a blue light shining through. Yes, you can see it. Yep. And that's how I do my LEDs. Uh, the other thing you could, the other way you could do an LED bun is that you do take it and you plug it in. And then basically now you just take a LED bulb. Okay, you could have them pre like wired like this. And if you didn't put it inside the control panel already, then you could literally just keep it live. Again, my power is live. And we're basically gonna try it like that. And you know that this works. See that? If your LED was flipped and you put it, and you it doesn't work, then you know that you have to flip your LED and now you are good to go. See that? This is just more of a longer way because as you can see, you could you could have a pre-wire, but then you have to take the, the whole thing out. I'm not a fan of that. I'm more of on the quick end of it. Again, I'll show you live. Again, as you can see, make sure you're getting this. As you can see, like I already have the buttons in. My buttons are already in, and instead of me now taking this out, for example, you could take, you could take this, right? Let's just say I didn't have the LED in it, but I already had this here set and plugged in. You could take this out already wired, and then you could take your LED. See this? I'm getting power on this now. I know it's good. If it was wrong, then you just gotta flip it, and there you go. So again, this is kind of like the longer way. I personally think that's the that's the long way of doing this. I'm not a fan of doing it this way. I would rather have it already in. My LED is already in. I'm just gonna tap it. This doesn't work. We're gonna swap over and now we have power. Again, that's just to me the easiest way and the quickest way to knock this out. Well guys, after about 15 minutes, you should have 20 buttons. LED ready, again, USB powered. This really is gonna be inside my game case. All that's gonna be coming out is a single USB with enough slack in case you wanna move the laptop. There you have it, LED buttons. Next up is the Zinmo. Again, I gotta give a big shout out to you guys. You guys are liking, subscribing. I really appreciate it, guys. Uh, big feedback. I love the comments. I love that you guys send me comments and I love sending you guys sending me your ideas. It's always cool to hear from you guys. Don't be shy. You can always message me. Again, my Instagram is VIC underscore the underline VP. Or you could even do Game Case Arcade. You'll find me on Instagram. You'll find me also on Facebook. Uh, again, Vic VP Game Case Arcades. This is Sims Portable Game Case that we're working on right now. Sims, it's almost done, buddy. I promise. We're just getting all the final details down. And the computer is the most important part. 
keep in mind you don't really want to ever touch make sure your, your clips are always covered you never want to touch them or your whole LEDs will kind of go out but again guys you guys are requesting these videos you're asking me a couple of questions don't be afraid to ask guys you see me I'm, I'm a human being I'm there to help you guys out not everybody knows about arcades and nobody gets it but I'm down to help guys so don't be shy don't be a stranger and I hope the videos are cool and you're having fun with them again guys keep modding keep rocking Vic BP game case arcades